I'm Dimity Smith. I teach uh, Senior English, Year 12 English, 11 English, 10 English and Literature. Uh, the school is Our Lady of Mercy College, a Catholic school in Heidelberg in Victoria, years 7 to 12 girls only. This is a Year 12 English class. Um, they've just completed their first sort of um, formal essay writing outcome, area of study one. We've got an eye on the end of year exam and the requirements and the key skills that are required to do as well as they can in that exam. Um, and there's a, a range of abilities in the classroom. I may give some general feedback, but I, I believe it's too vague for individuals to then think, to act upon. I think it's really much more important to have that one-on-one -on -one conversation where I'm, we're looking at the actual piece of work and we're able to identify the weaker areas or the areas for improvement. What I did find was with this paragraph on Roy, mm. I thought that you kind of skimmed over the surface um, and you didn't provide me with a lot of evidence from the play to support what you were saying. Okay. Uh, for example, also through performing, Roy is able to make connections to other people, not just the characters of the play. Well, well who would that be? Okay. And what evidence is so, there to suggest that? If I were to do that, would I have to use a quote or should I just put evidence in? I, either an event or a quote okay. would be fine. And then he's drawn out of the world of the institution and into the world of performance, but it's only momentary. He returns to the ward where he's sort of shunted around um, between all the wards in the future. Okay. So, um, yeah, so he could be looking at rewriting that paragraph. Mm -hmm. It was a well structured, well argued essay on the whole, but that particular paragraph let her down. The second student had um, said to me at the beginning of the year that she couldn't write an essay. So we had to do some after school one-on-one -on -one sessions looking at different topics and then breaking them down and seeing how she could actually construct something. Take the ideas from her one paragraph that she's written but expand upon them and give detail and evidence from the play so that she's structuring um, a, a sound response. What um, really struck me about this essay is that when we first started looking at this process and writing an essay, you said to me that you couldn't write more than a paragraph. Yeah. That you'd answered the question in a paragraph and you had nothing else to write. And here you've written two pages of um, a response that is mindful of the topic. So that's fantastic progress, acting on feedback that you've been given and, and um, producing this essay. So great improvements. Um, you're confidently writing more than one paragraph, you've got a fresh original voice, it's clearly your own language, you're not reading some sample essays in a text guide somewhere, so yep. that's fantastic. I think they went well. I think that both students were receptive to the feedback. Um, I think I have got the sense that they understood what I was saying about their work and I think Sarah actually mentioned, yes, she'd felt that this was happening when she was writing the essay. I think that any one-on-one -on -one time is valuable and it's always nice when somebody gives you some special attention. So I think that the students are very responsive to that. What feedback strategies do you use to ensure students understand the requirements of learning tasks? What data do you use to support the delivery of feedback to students?